every inch, every corner Whether you sip your liquor or smoke your marijuana Cut off, you will string your soul like semi-bonia When a Jamaican and a California Portmore. And a straight out of Compton Straight out of Portmore Welcome to the Sunshine City from Waterford to Great Portmore Great for your frown, you great for your frown Bridgeport, Bayside, Nagazin, Cumberland Great for your frown, you great for your frown Good afternoon and welcome Yo, yeah, good, good to be here, good thanks for that Alright, now, we've been hearing through the grapevines that there have been some changes and some things happening you know, yeah, as yeah. we move on in life with your force um, uh, You know what? Uh, why don't we just uh, put up some of those um, songs from, from some back the then? Classics. Yeah, some of the classics from back then. T.O.K. Guyana's always been good to T.O.K. No you, 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 you came here, you mashed up many times. Yeah, man, Thirst uh, Park. Um, I remember after Thirst Park, the, the, when we had this, the next booking, I heard that they didn't want us to come back because I only mashed up the place. <laughs> And then we came back and did that, is it National Park? National Park, And we mashed up the rest as well. Uh -huh, um, uh -huh. And then I think we came back for the Digicel launch with Akon. You know what I mean? So definitely we've been here a few times and every time it's crazy love from the Guyanese family. So it's good to be back, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Well, uh, basically, you asked something, right? So, for, for those of you who might be saying, huh, who are you talking about, particularly the younger ones yeah. uh, who did, um, didn't grow up on this? Here are the classics. This is T.O.K. Yes, sir. Okay, girls, I put it in the house. You want it in the house. I put 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 it in the house. Jamaica and people never thought that they were gonna last um, as long as you did. Definitely. 
initially was thinking, well, hey, this is probably just um, oh, I'm chewing up fun. Uh, yeah, and they, they, they're probably going to live for that and so on. But then they keep getting tune up and tune. They brought albums, um, had successful tours, yeah, not right. only to Guyana, but other parts of the world. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there was a hiatus, and then you came back again, and big and strong, yeah. um, and, and so on. So, when you look back on all of that, how does it make you feel to be a part of that group and yeah. what you would have given? I mean, sometimes it's just like. Uh, I, I'm so speechless, you know. I mean, definitely, we started out 23 years ago, um, and definitely, when we started out, it was just this vision of being the R&B group from Jamaica. So somewhere along the line, um, singing those boys to men songs, and I started to DJ because my inspiration is Shabar and some Bounty. And they called me on the bass voice, and you know, I used to be talking, "Hi, ladies, way, 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 way." Um, there was just so much of that that you could do and that was just not me so I started as a DJ which was natural to me and naturally we created this new song which is R&B or strong harmonies over dance and it was never done before and we can probably say we have a unique lane for ourselves um, so from there so it was just a blessing and we just kept on going from strength to strength because of the same reason you mentioned people always thought alright then get egos crying enough boy a pose like a shutter that's it they'll never find no more and then we go my crew my dogs, and we mash up the place, and they say, Alright, buck up, so no, I've got no more. And then we start getting some classic for the girls, um, Ganyo lead, Gone. Um, we did Shake Your Bomb Bomb for the girls, Man of Bad Man, the Bounty Killer. We had so many hits, she's hot. Um, and then when it was undeniable that we were growing at a, pa at a fast pace, then we got the international success. Ganyo lead crossed over, um, and footprints carried us to like a whole different place in terms of being as far as number four on the 106 and Park, going on the Billboard charts and um, I must this crazy fan base, I mean we are the biggest reggae act in Japan since Bob Marley, you know what I mean? And, and we have sold double platinum in Japan, we have huge fan base in Africa, in, all across the Caribbean, you know, so it's been a crazy journey, one that I'm, I'm really blessed to be a part of and I big up all of the members and um, for this journey that we were blessed with. And um, I wouldn't even say that we're at a, you know, people like to make it sound like we broke up. Um, I just think we're at a crossroads where after 23 years, each member probably needs to just develop their own personality, their own career. And um, you, you never can tell what the future may hold. So right now I'm just rolling out with some solo music. I have some other businesses as well. Um, um, I have a mapping company that's the biggest thing in the Caribbean. So most of the government agencies are our clients under this mapping company called Spatial Innovation. And I'm here actually just doing a speech at um, Pegasus this morning about One Health, One Caribbean, which is a group funded by the EU and is part of UAE. Um, and it's a, it's a mixture of veterinarians, um, medical doctors, human doctors, and environmental doctors. And they want to talk about how each, each discipline supports each other. So I'm not here to lecture about doctors and support, but I'm also here to no, make music. No, but the, but the thing about it is that um, persons are learning about another side of the bassy. Yeah, definitely. They know the, 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 the singing side, the crooning side, and yeah. the ladies screaming and grabbing and doing, doing the same. Yeah. Um, they don't know the other aspects which... Um, yeah, man. So by, by rights, you can elaborate. Yeah, man. So what has happened within the last 10 years, I've been very inspired to do things. To use my artist's popularity to do more noble things. So the first thing I started was a festival in the mountains called the Blue Mountain Music Festival. Um, if you're ever in Jamaica in February, it's the biggest thing, you know, it's um, camping in the mountains for the last weekend. And we have the likes of, you know, Taurus, Riley, the, the reggae, the, reggae, the ones who are most known around the world, as well as upcoming talent. Um, from there, so now I went on to do the brand ambassadorship for the One Health Caribbean group. So, um, as I said, we're in Pegasus now and it's a big, it's a big thing because what they're talking about is like diseases around the Caribbean are sometimes linked from animal to human. So like chicken gunya, for instance, or Ebola came from the animals to us. So they are, they are trying to teach all of us that we need to understand that everything affects everything, the environment and all that, climate change and all these things. One of the other things I do is listen to news. So once a week I take the local news, international news and I DJ it. I take all the facts and turn it into a song and I put it on Get a newspaper, let's see how he's going to DJ this into, into yeah. something now, this should be pretty. Yeah. I mean look, I have to go read through the text for some time and I'm a little bit, but I mean, 
<laughs> While we go on, um, on the break, I might be able to put together a 16 bar or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, so show him, show him the International of the Caribbean, you were saying, yeah, yeah. so you can get some of that. Yeah. I'd love to have that. Yeah, but right. um, of course, let me, um, let's focus a little bit now on the fact that you're going to sold it up. Yeah. And you did mention some people say that it's a Brahma or a Wassa, and you yeah. don't see this that. But for whatever reason, uh, there comes a time when uh, most groups will eventually, you know, um, would have outlived its usefulness or its time, yeah. and uh, their members will go solo, yeah. and some will be. We, you could go as far back, let's say, if we remember the Jackson Five. Definitely. Um, they went solo. Beatles. Uh, eventually. Chili, and, uh, yeah, Michael Jackson made yeah. out of that. Well, I'll be the Michael. I'm going to try to be the Tito. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got, uh, if you jump to uh, the future when uh, it was uh, NSYNC, yeah, uh, Justin. Uh, Justin Timberlake uh, came out of that. Yeah. We've had also, um, in terms of the girl group, um, it was uh, Beyonce who came right. out, um, made a big Child. one from Destiny's Child. Yeah. And, and it, so, so, so Rush from the Supremes. From the Supremes. Bob Marley was actually a part of the, the Whalers. Whalers. John Lennon from the Beatles, you know. So there, there's, there's definitely that place, and you know, it just comes on to you now to show the world what you're really made of, you know. And I've been making music from outside of the group a long time, but I've been more as a producer. So now I'm focused on just showing. The, the, the artist side of me and the thing about me why I, why I feel blessed is that my voice will speak for itself you know what I mean the bass voice is one that stands out on its own so I don't really have to compete and say boy I run down this thing I have my own lane my own space so yeah. it's right now it's just exploring and it's just linking up with the producers the young talents that, that you know eager to make music like myself and give them the chance to us collaborate and make some great music you know what I mean so you're going to be doing some stuff in Ghana yeah you. man definitely Drew, Drew Tovin that's you know um, and Joe will big up that crew you know I, I just randomly back, back, back them up in the, in the hotel I saw acting and them all kind of start to have a conversation and then we just make the link from there and you know I'm open to making music anyway right now my biggest solo song is a song called Flow on YouTube and it's an EDM song that I just randomly did in UK and I just got a call last week that that song is added to I don't play games so I don't know but apparently there's a video game called Need for Speed which is apparently a popular video game It and, is, yeah Yeah, and it just got added to the new release of that game so it's just like making music and you never can tell what can happen, you know what I mean? and that's where my headspace is, you know what I mean? So you got a new track that we're going to run? Um, yeah, I have, I have three tracks, but I think, I don't know what the time will allow, but definitely my, my current one is called Straight Out of Portmore. I watched the Straight Out of Compton movie, I was very inspired by that movie because NWA sounded a lot like TOK to me in terms of this group that came out and just was controversial and just undeniable, you had to notice them. And um, when I went to the studio the next day, the beat that spoke to me, so I did a song about where I'm from in Jamaica, which is Portmore. Big up all the Portmore artists, them from Carter back to Pink um, Pliers and all these greats. And um, I just represent Fight. I shot the video with Buccaneer. Big up Buccaneer because he's coming here soon, I think. He's here this weekend. Yeah, I, I barely yeah, missed him. Stick around, right? Is, yeah. <laughs> no, Wednesday, Wednesday I leave for the Welcome to Jammer Cruise in, in, um, from, from Dave and Marley. So if I could, I definitely would have stayed. So I'm with, I'll go back though, for sure. Alright, well, let's get that one, let's hear what it sounds like. Straight out of Portmore, GT! Where you from? 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 Where you from?